I want to know. Amnesia. Welcome to my questions and answers video or my Q&A video. I recently reached 100 subscribers. Thank you all very, very much for subscribing to my channel and, and showing your support for me by commenting. And thank you all for all the questions I have received for this special occasion. I have never done a Q&A video before, so I have no idea basically and the most, uh, the best way to put this or the best way to, to plan this out. But uh, my thought, but I shall simply read questions I've been given. I have uh, copy paste all the questions I've been given into one uh, one document, and I'm just gonna read them top from bottom to part <laughs> from top to bottom is what I'm trying to say. So from top to bottom, no specific order between the comments itself or the questions themselves. But I'll, I'll simply read them and I'll try to give you somewhat of a quick answer. I hope that will be alright with you guys. I believe there should be some uh, on my gameplay from various games running in the background at the minute. Uh, I might even try to add some music if I if I can manage to <laughs> get that right. But we'll, we'll see. But, um, I hope I have something that you can enjoy watch while you listen to my voice. But um, yeah, thank you all for tuning in for this Q&A video, of course. So let's get it started, shall we? Um, uh, opening up is uh, Bonus 1992 from Northland Gaming. What got you started on doing Let's Plays? What got you started on YouTube itself, for that matter? Wow, what a great first question, I have to say. <laughs> well... I will give you a little bit of a background story before I answer this question. Last year, I focused heavily on my studies. I mean, my studies do take a lot of time, and in order to perform well, I spent a lot of time with my studies. I hardly did anything else than study. I had no free time, I had... Yeah, I... <laughs> Simply put, I, I did nothing else than study. But uh, this summer, I said to myself, you know what? I want to try to focus less on my studies and uh, get back into videos game, video games, because I really enjoy video games and they make me feel happy and they 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 help me to relax, relax my brain, <laughs> not being so stressful. So. Um, I told my dear friend that I, I wanted to get back to get back to video games and I I felt like I I'm, I'm not so good at English so I, I wanted to, to get better at English and uh, I was simply I was simply looking to have a lot of fun. And he asked me uh, do you like to entertain people? And I say yeah I love to entertain people. <laughs> I want to share my fun. To, in order to entertain others, that would be great. So, my friend, this is Guffy I'm talking about, by the way. I don't know if you have seen on my channel, but this is Guffy, so props to you, bud. I appreciate it. Anyway, he, he told me, why don't you combine all of this? And I asked him, what are you talking about here? <laughs> I'm talking about YouTube, he answered. You should start a YouTube channel where you practice your English while doing uh, commentaries or let's play series for various games. That way you can get back into the, the gaming while practicing up your English and if you're good at it, you'll be able to entertain people. So that's how I ended up on YouTube. Uh, by a, <laughs> a nice suggestion by, by Guffy. And that's, that's the way it's... It's <laughs> This is the way it turned out. Now I'm here doing a Q&A video thanks to 100 subscribers. So yeah, he got me started with my Skyblock series and uh, it got 
somewhat of appreciated. So I, I simply kept on going. Thank you for that great first question. <laughs> Let's just dive into the rest of the questions now, shall we? Mr. X Beto X has the nice the next questions here for me. What are your favorite TV series? Um, nowadays, I never watch television to be honest, or I rarely watch television at least. But uh, I can say that I love The Simpsons and uh, Futurama. But other than that, I can't name favorite series from the top of my head. I do like uh, comedy series like uh, How I Met Your Mother or um, The Big Bang Theory. That's a good series. Um, but I, I think I like Futurama the most, so I guess I have to say that Futurama is my, my favorite series. series. How about you, buddy? I know Mr. X, Beto X, by the way. It's a good friend of mine. Hey, Beto. <laughs> uh, let me know what you like. Anyway, continuing on here. Thoughts about the VU? Well, it's a cool idea. By the way, VU is the new gaming console from Nintendo. Uh, it has a, a gaming controller with a small screen in it. So, you don't have to see the t watch the television in order to play, you can simply watch uh, your handheld device, a small screen within your handheld device while you're playing. And I think that's a pretty cool idea, you can do some pretty cool stuff with this, just like, uh, just like Snap, <laughs> like that. I can already think of multiple, uh, multiple ideas that I would implement if uh, I were developing games for the Nintendo Wii U. So. I believe the big game companies that are developing games can, real some, can do some really cool stuff with this. Uh, Nintendo tends to to success no matter what they do, or at least most of the time, so uh, I'm sure they could make this work as well, as long as they play their cards right. But uh, it's a cool idea, I can't deny that. And um, if they develop the right games, this could be really successful. So I'm, I'm looking forward to to be told on the news how it how it goes for them. Yeah, it looks cool. What are your favorite food or desserts? Hmm, that's kind of a tricky question, my friend. As the same dish never tastes the same when different persons do the cooking, you know. But uh, I love potato pancakes. I believe you call it. <laughs> we call, uh, that you call them that in, in English. That's one of my favorite dishes for sure. And, uh, and liver stew. Oh man, yeah, that was a long time ago. Liver stew, that's really, really good. My mom makes the best liver stew. So, mama, <laughs> if you're watching this video for whatever odd reason, you know what I want for Christmas, some liver stew. <laughs> no, not really, but man, that's, that's some good food. That's probably one of my favorite, I gotta be honest with you. Yeah, I think so. Um, when it comes to my favorite dessert... Hmm... You know, there's there's so much that's... <laughs> so many things that taste so good, but... Um, I think I got a favorite. I don't know the English word for it, but in Swedish it's called uh, Kladdkaka. That would be something like sticky chocolate cake in English, I think. I'll try to find a picture and put it on the video somewhere around here when I'm talking about this. So you should be able to see it, I hope. And otherwise, you'll have to use your imagination. It's like a chocolate cake that's, um, <laughs> yeah, a bit sticky, to put it simply. It's, it's really good, it's really good. Continuing on, do you prefer Android, iOS, or Windows Phone? Android, no doubt about it. <laughs> the reason being that I enjoy developing my own applications and games for my my phone. So the easiest way for this is Android, in my opinion. 
I have some basic knowledge within Java and Androids. That's pretty much Java with its own library, so I find it really easy to get started with that. And that's that's my main reason for choosing Android. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and this is a good question. Uh, when are you going to play some Pokemon? Maybe a blind him needs a place in the future? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Uh, I've never thought of it, to be honest. I did try the Game Boy version of, game, of uh, Pokemon as a kid. Uh, one of the first one uh, on this really old Game Boy, the first Game Boy. You had uh, a small screen with some black and some greenish dots on it. And they <laughs> somehow uh, made Pokemon. But other than that, I haven't played any Pokemon games. But uh, there might be a blind Hamisa place Pokemon in the future if you guys will, if you guys would be asking for it. So let me know your thoughts about that. But uh, I never thought of it. <laughs> no, I, n I never thought of it. But uh, let me know what you guys think, Pokemon. <laughs> I might, I might play it. My uh, my next questions are from Craig Best. Hello, CB. You, you want to know what uh, Hamnisu mean or stands for? Well, you know, CB. To be honest, nothing really. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you, but Hamnisu is kind of a play with words. I combined letters from my real name to create uh, something that doesn't exist. At least as far as I know. But uh, when I had combined these letters into a word that I pronounced like Hamnizu, I thought it sounded pretty fun to say. So I simply went with it. And from that day, I was Hamnizu. <laughs> and uh, it was at MinecraftNews.net it all started, to be honest. Uh, where I met. Uh, the, the the manager of that site at the time and we start talking and I, I wanted to join the, the Minecraft server and I needed a name because I'm, I was just about to buy Minecraft myself and I thought to myself what am I gonna call me and I want some catchy name and I want to be fun to say so I simply put letters from my real name together and they formed and I, f and I formed the word Hamnisu uh, sooner or later and I found it really fun to say and <laughs> I found out that uh, pretty much everyone but me uh, have a hard time pronouncing it the way I do so <laughs> I like messing with you guys um, no I'm just kidding but th that's the, the real reason actually that I just put letters together for my real name um, I, I happen to form the <laughs> the the word or the name Hamnizu. Um, that's the way it is. Where do you get most of your Minecraft inspiration for your Let's Play Minecraft survival series? I don't know to be honest. I simply start up Minecraft and swing with whatever crosses my mind that day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I have no plans for the individual episodes, not a min uh, not right now at least. But uh, I do have long-term plans, however. Uh, something that I want to achieve but never have done before. But uh, how, I, how I will get there is not yet decided. So uh, I simply think to myself, in what kind of mood am I today? Am I in... If I were, would be in exploration um, <laughs> mood, I, I simply set up for an adventure, trying to explore the world. And uh, if uh, if I find myself being more of a um, hunter <laughs> mood or something like that, I'm going I'm going hunting stuff like that. So I, I simply swing with whatever crosses my mind. What 
is your job as a professional career career or if you're a student what are you starting to be degreed within I am a student I don't know the correct translation but if I simply say the Swedish name but uh, using English words of course it should be something like uh, master of science within electronics design I'll say it once again master of science within electronics design basically I will have a wide knowledge base within electronics, software developing, hardware developing and um, yeah, pretty much everything that got to do with IT. As a master of science, I <laughs> hopefully will be um, a master of problem solving as well, because that's pretty much what I will be high to do, solve problems. Would you consider doing a multiplayer series where you are playing on a multiplayer multiplayer server? Yes, definitely yes. Uh, I got one on my Swedish channel already, and uh, I will I will add some to to my English channel as well. This uh, I will try. <laughs> I will see what I can do about that. Uh, I was thinking uh, about showing my my lot at Minecraft News that net server at first but uh, <laughs> um, to be honest it's pretty pathetic compared with most of the 100 builds on that server so you know what I'm talking about CB you know what I'm talking about You're partially <laughs> responsible for that but yes I will try to add some let's play uh, Minecraft on multiplayer servers for sure I don't know how soon but I will try to add it <laughs> kind of soon. Uh, what website are you most affiliated with? Um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure what you're asking me. Affiliated? Uh, I think you're asking um, what, on what sites, um, um, websites um, uh, I'm um, the most active or where I spend most of my time. I'm sorry if I'm getting your question uh, wrong here, but uh, I will answer it from my perspective, perspective at least, and uh, get back to me if I'm answering incorrectly. But um, if I if I if I read your questions like this, on what website do you spend most of your time, or where are you most active? I think I'd have to say YouTube. I spend most of my internet time on YouTube. And uh, my Swedish blog, of course. I have a, uh, a blog in Swedish uh, for my university, or about my studies, <laughs> if I if I am to put it correctly. So yeah, uh, put some time in, in that uh, as well. But uh, if we're talking about forums and such, I think I'd say MinecraftNews.net or NorthlandGaming.com. Who is most influential, influential in your personal life? Um, well, if we look back to my childhood, both my, both of my parents have been have inspired me a lot and formed me into the person I am today. And my older brother and my older sister have made a part as well, of course. So they've been a big influence throughout my life to this point. But today, I believe the missus holds a lot of influence on me. I'm sure you know what I'm what I'm talking about here, CB. But um, yeah, I love spending time with my missus, and I believe she loves spending time with me as well. So she she has a lot of influence on this. She's over there. Allow me to <laughs> try again. She has a lot of influence on the decisions I make today. Oh yeah, the this this ah, this is hard. <laughs> the decisions I make are, are mine, but uh, I base I make my decisions thinking about what she might like about it, or what she might think about it. So I think she has a bit a bit of an influence there. 
I hope I'm answering this correctly <laughs> or to satisfy your 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 questioning what do you do when not recording your Minecraft let's play series well at the moment I try to record other series like Cave Story and The Walking Dead and so on but if we talked about when I'm not recording it at all I study work do household chores spend time with my friends family or me some needs I my studies take a lot of time so <laughs> once I get home from my studies I usually don't have that much time at home because I have five jobs at the moment so I have to be <laughs> be working a lot of, as well and then when I'm home from my, my jobs I do the usual household, uh, household chores you know cleaning, cooking, all of that um, the small amount of time I get left is I'm just gonna sit up here, yeah. Um, the small amount of free time I got is basically spent into into video games right now, and most of it get put on YouTube. I hope that <laughs> I hope that the answer is. Um, hmm, to your content. Let's put it like that. Continuing on. What's the story behind your video intros? Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, well, when Guff gave me the advice to start a YouTube channel, I simply didn't feel like being one of the many YouTubers that just play, you know? As I wanted to practice my uses of Flash, an animation program or animation software, uh, as well as various music creation softwares, I thought to myself, why not combine these with my new newly started YouTube series or YouTube channel? So, to put it short, I started drawing some simple Flash animations and uh, I combined these with uh, with some music I created by myself. Uh, for the intro, I made some lyrics, you know, take your best seat and all that, throw your troubles away. <laughs> uh, it's just words that, uh, words that um, popped up into my head and I, I tried it out, tried to find some kind of a tune for it and then made some animations for it. And, uh, it seemed to be appreciated, so I kept it. And that's that's the video. <laughs> and regarding the outros, I, I went with some music and some other animations. Some more simple animations I made. And they seem to be appreciated as well, so... <laughs> Thank you all for that, for the feedback. So, that's the story. I simply wanted to try something out. And it seemed like you liked it, so I kept it. <laughs> and I like this question. Uh, who is your favorite admin at minecraftnews.net? Uh, I haven't been on the forums for a bit, and on the server for a bit, so... I don't know all the admins right now. But uh, from what I remember, my favorites are... I believe you are one of them, CB, because I <laughs> I like your your humor and the fact that you you bought this, uh, your kids uh, uh, Atari. That's real cool. That's some props for you, man. <laughs> and uh, Guffy, of course, is one of my favorite admins. <laughs> yeah, and this is a great question. Uh, CB wants to know why I won't turn his calls anymore his phone calls uh, <laughs> well I uh, I wasn't aware that you were trying to call me CB I think you have the wrong number but you know what give me a call and we will set this straight 
And with that, I've been recording for quite some time, so I think I will be taking a break here, just to get myself some water and... So, please join me in, in part 2 everybody. I'll see you soon.